injecting B12 dangers? Should I take my B12 video down? Um, you may know I have the most watched uh, B12 shot video on the internet. I have half a million views on how to self-inject vitamin B12. Um, and of course, with a, a lot of views comes a lot of comments and uh, a lot of different opinions. Opinions, right? You know, from all over the world. And uh, so you know, some people think I should take the video down. One person says, I'm surprised you show this video. No alcohol swabs to clean the injection site. Poor presentation on preparing the vial with air to draw the serum. Did not see any cleansing material for sanitation. I feel that this video should be removed. Someone could end up with an infection following the, his instruction. Um, you know, we, we especially like a lot, I think a lot of these comments come from America where it's this like nanny sort of society where everybody sues for, for everything these days, you know, so everyone's got to be like ultra careful, you know, it's like super safety and super hygiene and things like that. And, you know, we know what's coming out of that is these like super bugs in the hospitals and things like that, you know, so uh, I, I don't buy into all this like over, over, over protection, over sanitization that, uh, that, that goes on. Um, you know, if, if, you know, common sense, right? You know, I, I wash my hands. I, I wash my hands um, before I, I inject um, my, myself. You know, sure, if you're, if you're doing it for somebody else, there might be some contamination, so it's good to have an, an alcohol swab. But just to self-inject, I'm showing this is how I do it, right? It's exactly how I do it. Um, and I inject, I don't use an alcohol swab. I, I, I have clean hands, right? You know, do, when you get a little nick on your finger or something, do you immediately run over and start putting alcohol on it? right? You, no, you might put a plaster on it. You might just go, there's a little nick. And you might just suck it or something. Um, you know, we're getting little nicks and cuts and scratches all the time. We're not running around going, we must swab that with alcohol, do we, right? You know, no, no different with uh, taking a B12 injection. You know, it's, 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 you get it, you're taking out a brand new clean needle. I only recommend using the, the, the needle once and then you dispose of it. Um, you know, the taking it out of the out of the vial. You know, you take it out. You take the, the air out of it. I show that exactly. I'm not too sure what this person is talking about uh, about drawing up the serum. Uh, that there's generally going to be some little bubbles in it, and you can just take that out. That's no problem at all. So this the second issue was you know so I, that that issue is like a non-issue for me. You know, uh, the second issue was. Um, Oh yeah, yeah. If you must draw from an ampule, draw using a 23 gr uh, gram filter needle. Yeah, a lot of people said, um, please use a filter needle before injection if it has been drawn out of a glass ampule. Um, and uh, I've got loads of comments. And again, I think this is an American thing where, again, it's this over, to set over safety where people have probably sued in the past where they'd, they draw out and then they take a, the needle off and put a new needle on in case any glass has gone into the needle. Um, from breaking open the glass ampule, you know. So, uh, so I, you know, I, I took these uh, these comments on board, and I, I went actually went down to my um, a pharmacist, who is the the most highly qualified and most reputable pharmacist in, in my town. And I spoke with him about it, and I, I said about different concerns that people have, and he just he just shook his head and goes, "No, you don't need to change the ampule. Uh, you don't need to, uh, you know." He, he said, "Yeah, we use an alcohol swab here, but of course, you know." Um, you know, that's in a, in a pharmacy where he's having lots of different people coming in. Um, but he says that by changing the ampule, no. He, he, says, he says no one does that here in Spain. So again, it's probably an American thing or something, I don't know. Um, so, you know, that's, uh, it's just not done here at all. It's not done here. Um, the, the chances of uh, like a minute bit of glass getting in, big deal. <laughs> you know, it's, it's so, my, if the eye can't see it, it's so minute. It's not going to have any effect on you, you know. It's like taking a grain of sand and, and swallowing it. It's no big deal, you know. Um, you're just taking that intramuscular. It's going intramuscular into your muscle, right? You're not putting it into an artery or something, you know. Um, so yeah, there's there's no issue with uh, with using the same needle from a from a glass ampule. That, that comes from the top pharmacist in in my town. Again, it's, it's probably an American thing where so many people are commenting. That, uh, that that's an issue for them. Um, uh, th another thing was uh, a few people said that it's better to inject into the th into the thigh muscle, into the thigh. 
Uh, I injected into the thigh once and, and the, the pain level was much, much higher than injecting into the, uh, the buttocks. And again, I, I asked the pharmacist about injecting into the thigh and he's just like, and he said, no, the buttocks is, is the best place to inject. So I, I just go with that, you know. Um, but again, if, if you want to inject into the thigh, I'm sure you can do that too. Um, what other questions do I have on that? Oh yeah, so you know, someone says, you know, look, why, why not just take a sublingual? Why don't you take a sublingual under the tongue? It's going into the bloodstream. Even if you don't have the intrinsic factor um, in your stomach, it's not like you're swallowing it. You can just put, take it under the tongue and then it's going into the bloodstream, right? Makes kind of sense, does it? Doesn't it? I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, you know, I like to go for results. And I know, you know, I've taken sublingual B12s. I've taken oral B12s. And I've checked my B12 levels, and I'm, I'm always over. Even before I took B12 shots, I've, I've never actually, uh, or any B12 supplement, I've never been below uh, when tested the, the level of the minimal level, you know. My level's never been super high, around 380, 385, something like that. Um, so I, I supplement sometimes anyway, just to boost it up. But even when I take the, the sublingual B12, it makes virtually no difference to my, to my levels. Um, but when I, when I take the shots and when I've given the shots to other people, when I've recommended the shots, their levels suddenly go through the roof of B12 when they take the shots. So you, you just can't, cannot rely on taking a sublingual. You know, it may have a small effect, but, uh, but the B12 shots, you know, that will put your levels up to like 2000. You know, it put them off, off the scale, literally off the scale. They, when, uh, when I took one of my clients in to, to get her shots done and get her blood test done, um, she went and got her blood test done and uh, the scale went to 2000. It didn't go beyond that. And they said, oh, your, your, shot, your B12 levels are off the scale. And she said, yeah, that's because I've been taking B12 shots. And uh, there's no danger in that uh, either. They would say, oh, that's, that's totally fine. It's good, you know. Um, so, but you're, you're never going to get that from taking a sublingual or taking an oral B12. You're only going to get such a, such a huge um, dose of B12 is through the shots. And for someone who is uh, seriously B12 deficient, is uh, verging on nerve damage or something like that, do not rely on uh, on a sublingual or something. You know, you need to get the shots and you need to save your your health and, and your life. Um, you know, and uh, so don't don't be uh, um, you know procrastinating on that. You need to start just getting them in there, and uh, don't have some issues. Oh, I don't want to take supplements. I don't want to take injections or something like that. You know, bullshit, you know, um, you get that in there. You've taken it for many things before. Uh, you've taken injections for other things for, you know, when you traveled or for vaccines or things like that, you know, and that's taking poison into your body. We're just talking about B12 here, you know, B, 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 synthetic B12, you know, which uh, has a, um, you know, 99% beneficial effect on your body. Hope that's a bit of, uh, been of use for you, you know, and check out the, the video if you want to see, see the video of how to administer B12. Um, you know, what I'm really showing is anyone can do it at home, you know, there's, there's kind of no excuses. Um, I do it with my, my kids around um, and uh, yeah, yeah I can, you can self-administer, it's not, it's not difficult. Or you can just get, get someone to do it for you. Um, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not painful, a little, little sting and that, that's it, big deal, you know. Uh, but for the potential benefits and uh, the, the downsides, if you know anyone that is uh, seriously deficient in B12, the symptoms, um, are, uh, it, it wrecks people's lives, it really ruins people's lives through the nerve damage um, that, that can happen and, and various other symptoms that happen uh, through uh, having low levels of B12. So uh, make sure you get, you know, take responsibility, get your levels tested, go and get a blood test and then uh, start shooting up baby. Okay, thanks for watching and remember to subscribe, leave a comment, um, what do you think and go and check out the, that other video as well if you haven't already done so and share the video as well, share the love. Thanks for watching. You could save a life, you know? That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, I don't care, you know? People, people want to comment on, on my videos and go, oh, you should be doing this, you should be doing that, take down this video, etc. You know, because I'm just thinking, I, that doesn't bother me. Because I'm just thinking, half a million people have seen this. I know that lives have been saved, that people's health have, has been saved through watching that video. And that's what's more important to me than any opinions of anyone.